Today in Sports Report, Martial Arts, Results of Kazakhstan Open 2015 of Taekwondo. Curling, Testing Competitions of Coming Universiad was successful. The game number one, the Kazakhstani Olympic champion of football, Yevgenia Yerovienko. An international tournament of Taekwondo Kazakhstan Open 2015 took place in Almaty. The Palace of Sports, named after Balawan Shalak, collected more than 400 fighters from 30 countries of the world. Such competitions are taking place in Kazakhstan for the first time. The main peculiarity of the tournament was the Class G1, which let winners of the competition achieve rating points to win the license of Olympic Games. Besides it, appearance of the world champions and winners of the previous Olympic Games became the decoration of Kazakhstan Open 2015. The world champion from Uzbekistan, Dmitry Shokin, proved his advantage in Almaty again and informed that his next goal is to win in Rio de Janeiro. The competitions are being held on a high level, thanks to the organizers for it. The tournament was not easy. There were serious rivals in all weight categories. Olympic champions, prize winners and winners of Grand Prix came here. The final fight with the opponent from Korea, for me, was the hardest. That is our eighth fight with him and the score is 4-4. The national team of Kazakhstan took part in the tournament. Our sportsmen have won gold medal. In the weight category to 58 kilos, Nur Sultan Mamayev celebrated his win. We should note Janzel Diniz, who performed for the national team of Turkey, debuted for Kazakhstan in this tournament. The Taekwondo Federation of Kazakhstan returned the sportsman to her historical motherland. In the debut, Janzel won a silver medal among women in the weight category to 73 kilos, losing to Maria Espinoza from Mexico in the final. As concerns the results, our national team performed well. One gold, several silver and bronze medals. We have some work to do. We will do our best. Our sportsmen who have moved from juniors team to the national team are demonstrating good results. The national team of Kazakhstan won the fourth team place among men. The strongest representatives of the women's team of Kazakhstan also closed the quartet, having in their account won silver and four bronze medals. In Almaty, under the auspices of the Winter Universiad 2017 in the Palace of Culture and Sports, named after Balawan Shalak, the Asian Pacific Curling Championships ended. For the first time in the history of Kazakhstan, such a big tournament has taken place. The Pacific Asian Championship is a qualifying tournament for participation in the 2016 World Curling Championship in Switzerland. The Federation of Curling of Kazakhstan has existed for 12 years and we were trusted to organize big regional Asian Pacific Curling Championships. Now there are many competitors here. Earlier there were just five or six teams. Now there are 13 from eight countries of the world. Qatar and Mongolia did not come. As the judges and representatives of the World Curling Federation say, the organization of the championship is good. Teams from Kazakhstan, Japan, South Korea, China, Chinese Taiwan, Hong Kong, New Zealand and Australia took part in the championships. Curlers from eight countries were represented by eight men's and five women's teams. We should also note that the competitions were held in accordance with the rules of the World Curling Federation. We are Kazakhstani curlers, proud of the fact that we were trusted to organize such serious competitions, which are as significant as the World Championships. Now we are selecting for the World Championship. The best two teams will be selected for the World Championship, which takes place in Switzerland next year. The Olympic license will be played there. In the match for gold medals among men, the sportsmen of the national teams of South Korea and Japan met. The fight between these two teams was hard, and the Korean sportsmen were stronger, who won with the score 11-7. We should mention that it is the first title of the team of South Korea in this championship since 2002. In the match for the bronze medal, the teams of China and New Zealand met. In a hard duel with the score 5-4, the 
The victory was celebrated by the curlers from China. The men's team of Kazakhstan stood in seventh place. In the competition of women's teams for the victory, as in the men's tournament, the sportsmen of South Korea and Japan competed. In contrast to the men's competition, among women, the representatives of Japan were more successful. The national teams of Kazakhstan and China fought for the bronze medal. The sportsmen from China beat the host with a score 16-0 and became the winners of third place. Yevgenia Yarovenko is the only Kazakhstani Olympic champion of football today. The citizen of Karatau won this title in the staff of the national team of the USSR in the 1988 Olympic Games in Seoul. His love to football was instilled by his elder brother, Vladimir, a professional footballer who played in the second and first leagues of the championship of the USSR for Pavlodar Traktor and Jambul Kimik. I was never told that I was going to be a prospective footballer until a definite period. My older brother instilled my love to football in my native town, Karatau, in the Jambul region, where I lived near the stadium. We played football the whole day. We had no other entertainment. <laughs> Having played two seasons for the local Fosforit in the Championship of the Republic, among the teams of physical education, Evgenia in his early adult years debuted in the team of experts, Kimik from Jambul. Three seasons in the second league of the championship of the USSR were a good lesson for the future master. In the summer of 1983, Yarovenko and the staff of the national team of Kazakhstan played for Spartakia, the people of USSR in Moscow, after which the talented guy was invited to Kairat. I was really weak physically till I was 16, after my brother took me and said that I had good abilities to become a professional footballer. At that time, we worked with Karatal, Bill Ski, Anatoly Ivanovich, who worked in Sunkur before, a famous coach and footballer. He came to Himik Jambul a year before me, and when I was taken to the team, he supported me a lot. It was very hard for me. He asked me to work and said everything would be okay. The following three seasons, Yarovenko stably played for the flag of Kazakhstani football. Yarovenko considers the 1987 season as the best season in his career. In the list of 33 best footballers of the country of the back of Kairat, he was called number one on par with Kiev's Vladimir Besonov and Oleg Kuznetsov and Spartak player Vagiz Kidayatulin. But the most important thing was his debut to the national team of the USSR, first in the Olympics. On April 15, 1987, the national team with Yarovenko and the staff won Turkey in Izmir, 2-0. The aim was to play in the second league in order to be noted by Kairat. We had my dreams and goals. I achieved them with my hard work. After that, the head coach of the team, Anatoly Bishovitz, regularly invited the Kazakhstani to his team. And on August 29th of the same year, Yarovenko debuted in the first team of the USSR. In a friendly match in Belgrade, they won with the score 1-0. Later, Yevgenia played another match for the first team, the national team of the USSR, which beat Greece 3-0. But the main matches of Yevgenia were ahead. The following game of Yerovenko for the Olympic team became significant. Having won Bulgaria in Simferopol with 2-0, the team won the chance to Seoul. Yerovenko was invited to the first team in the final tournament of Euro 1988 in Germany, but a small trauma prevented him, and Yerovenko's star shone in the Olympic Games in Seoul. Everybody says that Yarovenko became an Olympic champion. There is not only the merit of Yarovenko to Olympic medals, that is the whole merit of Kazakhstani football and fans, and the footballers and coaches whom I grew up with. This is the merit of everyone. I can say that the Olympic medal is mine. This is the medal of Kazakhstan for centuries in the memory of Kazakhstan. The football tournament of Olympic Games of 1988, the national team of USSR started with a draw with the host. It was an opinion that Asian football was weak, and after such a result, many specialists and fans didn't trust the teams. How they were mistaken. In the second match, the player of Bishovitz won the national team of Argentina, 2-1 and the team of USA, 4-2. The quarterfinal match with Australia ended with a confident win, 3-0, and in the semifinal, they met Italy. In the team of the rival, all players were stars, Andrea Carnival, Ruggiero, Ritisletti, Mauro Tosati, Ciro Ferrara, Alberto Ivani, players of Milan, 
Intera and Napoli. In two years, the above footballers almost won the home championship of the world. Yarovenko substituted Alexei Cherednik in the second time, warned a yellow card by this time. There were nils on the scoreboard. Then the Italians opened the score. Our players drew the score and the game was given overtime in which Guadre Azur scored another two goals. So the final day. It was September, October 1st, 1988. Yarovenko might have had the most difficult place. His goal was to cover the best score of the tournament. Farias, the future star of Romario, at that time it had such a name. Six goals of the Brazilian in five matches proved his skills. He was distinguished on the 30th minute of the final. The national team of USSR did not waver. Igor Dobrovolsky, with a penalty, recovered the situation. Yuri Savichev, who substituted, got an effective pass by the end of the first time of overtime. Played face-to-face -face with Claudio Tafarel and tricked him masterly. Although the coach said that I can't, one can stop doing, one can continue working. He could not do everything at once, he did it once, twice. He fell down but he rose up and worked hard to continue. Lots of talents lost themselves because there was no one who supported them. They did not play and gave up. Winning Olympic medals, especially the gold, is the peak of any sports career but is not reached by everyone. In fact, it was not easy to win a gold medal of the football championship of the USSR. The students of Kazakhstani football who became champions of the USSR among the teams of masters can be counted on one hand. Anatoly Zarapin, Vladimir Nikinov, Alexander Hapsalis, Edward Son and Anton Shok. The goalkeeper Anatoly Zarapin is a student of Karaganda football. In 1966, at the age of 19, he debuted in Shakhtar. This young talent started to play really in 1969. According to the coefficient of impenetrability, average number of goals missed for a game, there was no one equal to him in the gate. In 33 matches, he just missed 15 goals. In the season with Shakhtar, he debuted in the first league of the Union Championship and in 1974 in the Premier League in the staff of Moscow Torpedo. The star of Karaganda shone in the fall championship of the USSR in 1976. At that time, the season was divided into two championships. Moscow Torpedo finished the autumn game in the first place, outstripping Kiev Dynamo by two goals. Anatoly Zarapin played in all 15 matches, missing just nine goals and defending nine games with nil. Another Kazakhstani champion of the USSR was Vladimir Nikonov. The student of Junior's team of Almaty combined their first steps to football made under the management of a good coach, Georgi Kozelko, who gave good instructions to big football. Then Nikonov was in Kaira, then through transit in Novosibirsk, Shkalovets, and Moscow Spartak of Konstantin Beskov. In 1979, together with Nikonov's team, he won the title of the championship of the USSR and in the season of 1980, he won silver medals with Spartak and performed in the champion staff of the national team of USSR in the Games of Youth Championships of Europe. In the history of Kazakhstani football, there is a so-called Dnipropetrov period when the students of our football, Anton Shok and Edward Son, became the champions of the union in the staff of Dnipropetrovsk, Dnipr. Their way to the champion's peak was with Kairat. Anton Shok debuted in the first team of the Republic on September 1st, 1979 in a home match against Donetsk, Shakhtar and Edward Son was invited to Kairat in 1981. Both were distinguished in the Almaty team. In 1986, Shok moved to Dnieper and in 1988, Son did. In this season, the Ukrainian club won gold of the championship of the USSR. By the way, in the staff of Nepr 88, another player of the national team of Kazakhstan, Peter Nishteter, also performed in the season. But he spent just four matches and in the middle of the season he was sent to Simferopol, Tavria. Another interesting fact is that the final goal of the champion season, Son scored through the gate of Kairat 